you even realize what will happen if you kill us? Oh? I don't know. Maybe they'll go to the old folks' home planet and find some new High Lords. <laughs> don't say the name of that planet out loud. Such horrid priorities. <laughs> we are not saying the name of that horrid planet! Why, I smack you on the buttocks with my power mode and send you to a penal world if I hadn't forgotten how to walk just a moment ago. Give me a second. I'll be up, and then it'll come back to me, and then I'm gonna kick your ass! That place might be open with a floppy disk. Oh! Okay. That would explain a lot. Silence! I see the Griffin! Oh, Skildor, that's what I was gonna say! You be quiet, too. The future of the Imperium is at stake here. I will not let you destroy it! I told you, I'm saving the Imperium, not destroying it. Now quiet down. Take off that stupid taco shell of a hat and lead me to the bomb. Don't you talk shit about my hat. I would never take it off. I would never leave you to the palace either, for that matter. Then you shall all die. I wouldn't do that for you. Hey, Fyodor, look! It's that giant walking banana that tells me to burn houses down and kill things! What?! You love the attempt as custodians! Explain your intrusion immediately! Indeed I am, and I have come here to deliver a message upon you. What you're doing is interfering with the Emperor's will, and it's also really damn stupid. Like, seriously, how dumb can you get? I like bananas, especially on a good old ice cream sundae. Or, uh... And look, oh well, for me, seems a lot of justice. But that's just an issue of what my gods, but the banana is the most useless damnation for this. They will even grow up big and strong like me, or with a banana. Illustrate! Banana poop is excellent for lubricating cogwheels. Banana poop. Shut up! Now, Custodes, what gives you the right to come in here to the Sanatorium Imperialis? Quite simple, Inquisitor. I too am a High Lord. I am Captain General of the Adeptus Custodes. Oh shit! What a twist! Control my public world. But I get the submit because of all that studying and military training he was doing. When did this happen? Probably my role. I'm sexually confused, Fyodor! Kill them all! Kill them all! Quick, left shoulder man! Shoot them while they're still sexy! Uh, left shoulder man? Left shoulder man? Oh, oh, there's a needle in his arm. He's on the Quiet, Dominique! I give the orders here. Custodes, tell me why you are out here in the first place. You're all supposed to stay with me. Imperial Palace, is that not right? Ordinarily, yes, but this is no ordinary occasion. <sighs> well, that doesn't matter. I'm still going into that palace. I'm still bringing the big guns. Really? Will you be able to shoot all of us? What in the Eldar sparkly shit are you talking about? <laughs> oh, that's what you're talking about. Hey, Fyodor, we're surrounded again. And this time, by loads of half-naked men, it's like a ruddy ocean of bare nipples and bulging muscles. It's making me moist. Just be quiet, Dominique. I've come to make the announcement for you and everyone else here in this room. Through the amazing technology of the, like, second millennium or something, our Emperor is once more able to speak to us. Our glorious Lord can command us once again. And that is exactly what he slowly, but surely, has begun doing. What? Holy Emperor, he speaks. Is this... is this true? The Emperor can talk again. Oh boy, now I can finally retire and eat up all those social securities checks like the worthless piece of shit that I am. Just like I always dreamed of. Isn't that what you're already doing? Yeah, but now we can feel like we're in this piece of shit. 
gets the whole package. I'm sure he'll be so thankful for the good job we've been doing while he's been gone on that long bathroom. Nice! I'm sure he's an extra to last his years. I can't, I can't wait. I can't wait to talk to him. And that's the power of technology, kids. But, Captain General, why have you not told anyone of this before? It seems like the kind of important thing to tell us, High Lords, you know? Well, the Emperor never told us to actually tell anyone, and we wouldn't ever do anything the Emperor hasn't told us to do. Except address the map and be fagged. <laughs> but, yeah, the Emperor told us to go forth and have this message be delivered, and that is what we have done. Now, Inquisitor, step off that throne and- No! You vile scum! You lie! You are all corrupted! Chaos is badly exceed in your minds! You are all heretics! Alright, yeah, I'm done being nice with it. Give this crazy bastard the Empress Pizza in three, two, one. Stop! Stop! Okay, stop, don't you? Never mind. Leave him. Let him run. What? Well, this is certainly a peculiar turn of events. I'm so confused. Well, what are we watching? I put this show off with a war and the blood and the suit and the blood. I hope it's Fox News. That's my favorite show nowadays since they canceled Jack. You, you will regret this, Custodes. You will regret the day you turn your back on humanity. You may show me mercy, but do not think I shall reply in kind. I will have my vengeance, you filthy heretics! If you don't, we should run! Be quiet, Dominique! But yes, we totally should. Why didn't you execute him? We had him surrounded, but you let him slip through our fingers. Why? I don't understand! As hard as it may seem to believe, it wasn't I who made this choice. It was the Emperor. The... the Emperor? His voice came to me, telling me that we should let him go. I do not yet know why, but I will not question it, for I know the Emperor intends it to be this way. Well... I am in no place to go against you then, Custodes. Nevertheless, perhaps we should consider warning the rest of Terra about this Inquisitorial threat. He and his companions are most likely fleeing to the Inquisition's base on Terra's South Pole. We should arm our defenses and be ready to take them down if they try anything. Indeed, we should probably do so. Wait, hold on. Yeah, look, Cassoni speaking. What? Why? Okay, okay, sorry, my lord, but why? Fine, I'll tell them. Yeah, I'll be right over shortly. I'll make sure to hurry. Yes, I'll bring your centurion too. Okay, bye. Love you too, Dad. We should not arm the defenses. We will leave these recent events in shadow. Uh, okay. How come? The Emperor! Ah, very well. I guess we'll forget this ever happened. Yeah, something like that. Huh. Um... You too. Keep up your sacred work in keeping the Emperor safe with care. And you keep up suppressing the truth for the masses. Oh, that's what I do best. Until next time. They think to spread chaos and ruin throughout the Imperium of Man, do they? The cowards! The fools! This is the worst incursion of corruption I have ever seen. Oh, that's what the doctor said when he looked at my lungs. I mean, every time I think about it, it just makes me want another sandpaper cigarette. I bet you could use one too after that shit show, huh, Fyodor? Do they forget that I am the purest, mightiest, the most ruthless witch hunter of the galaxy? I am the one and only who gave the middle finger to the corrupted Ecclesiarchy the first time they tried to spread chaos throughout the Imperium. And I will do it again. Dominique, prepare your parchment. Finally, I get to do my job. Oh, my pencil broke. Tell the rest of the Inquisition that Holy Terra itself 
has been overtaken by heretics. The ecclesiarchy, the High Lords of Terror, even the Adeptus Custodes themselves have been corrupted by the ruinous powers. Tell them that we need as many inquisitorial troops here as possible. Tell them we need those forces here yesterday. Tell them. Tell them to bring everything. Ah, uh, Fyodor? What do you mean, everything? Oh, and what do you want on your hot dog? Everything! Emperor forbid, we may even have to take the final measure. This is boring. I sure wish I had fucking Lex. I wouldn't ever have figured that talking to someone would leave you so bored when you can't do it. Especially when it's the only thing you can do thanks to your stupid son who put you on golden clandestine life support for the rest of forever. Psychology fucking sucks. I totally wish my fragmented soul and psyche could return to me in a functional body so I could fuck around with illusionary appearance shifting again. Doing that was the funniest shit ever, albeit screwed things up badly from time to time. But really, all I was doing was saving mankind in my own subtle ways. Like that one time I made myself look like a pale, non-special person, and challenged my son Vulcan to a game of catch the biggest fire break, and then saved him from falling down a volcano, which was kind of ironic. Or that other time when I made myself look like a malnourished, parasitic, and sheep herder, saved a shitload of people intending to bring them to a nice piece of land I found, opened up a rift in the sea that we could walk through because I couldn't be arsed to build a boat, and then wandered an 11 day distance for 40 years through the desert. Actually, that was pretty fucking embarrassing. Well, at least there was that other time when I stopped World War 18 by poisoning the leader of the nationalistic ostrich forces. I am still not sure how mankind missed all those clear signs that the ostriches were behind all the ultra-conservative extremist shit that had been going on for so long. Or when I spent fifty-something years as an overweight, mentally unstable man-child creating grotesque crossbreeding products out of already existing fictional characters owned by different companies in the hope of having mankind realize that their ways are faulty so they would pick up the torch and head for the future rather than sitting idly by and engaging in pettiness, superstition, gluttony, and hatred for one another. That plan was genius, too bad people were too fucking stupid to find the enlightening messages hidden in all those hollow recordings I made. Sigh. It was only a matter of time before I had to reveal myself, but sometimes I wonder if I shouldn't have gone and done it earlier. Then again, I don't think it matters. As to quote a certain indecisive demon, but... Things are going just...